The remediation mission at Sellafield is uh, very diverse and quite often the, the environments that we're working in are quite challenging from a radiation point of view. We're in Calder Hall, we're in uh, one of the turbine halls and here we are with really modern technology actually helping us decommission these old facilities. We've recently established a new robotics and AI capability divided up into three areas or three domains, air, land and water-based robotics and that's looking at coordinating how we do robotics across Sellafield and the NDA group. So today's demonstration is all about understanding SPOT's capabilities and limitations in order to enable us to make decisions for the future uses at Sellafield. So SPOT is a, uh, a quadrupedal uh, mobile robot. It's ideal for uh, environments like this where there's debris and obstacles on the floor and, and unknown, uncharacterised environments really. So for remediation at Cellar Field there's the decommissioning elements and there's the waste management elements so a platform like SPOT would be really beneficial to us in terms of being able to get to places that either humans can't or they can't spend the same amount of time in. So we are looking for uh, applications where we can use something like Spot to, to go into those environments rather than send a person in there. It can go in, do all the sensing, take all the information that we need and basically do the job of a person but much more safely and more effectively. What makes it unique and powerful is that it really works as a four-legged robot. You know, it can get upstairs, it can fall over, it can get back up again, it can go over loose rubble and terrain and be able to traverse where you need it to traverse. It has native uh, obstacle avoidance and uh, native autonomy to, to some extent. It can carry quite large payloads, uh, about 50% of its mass. So it's a very easy platform to use, basically a day's training and we really understood how to operate and integrate the different payloads. You get a real impression of, of its uh, dexterity and its flexibility for applications in old, old buildings where the, the access might be quite challenging. So working on this job, obviously we've had our team at Sellafield, we've had UK AA sending race down, so they're the experts in robotics in nuclear environments. And we've had Boston Dynamics over in America, so they've been supporting, making sure everything runs smoothly, and uh, they've been really helpful throughout as well. And we've had Createc, obviously a local company, have worked really closely with us. So Createc are an SME based in Cumbria. Uh, we have specialism in robotics, and our role is to take this highly advanced uh, platform from Boston Dynamics and deliver it to business as usual for Sellafield. So to integrate the sensors, the payloads, the manipulators that actually allow it to undertake real world tasks on site and ultimately remove humans from harm. SPOT is a brilliant example of collaboration working under this new framework. It's really impressive to be able to see a piece of technology that's so modern and we can get it onto Sellafield so quickly. Beyond this phase of, of work, we'll actually be going into active facilities as well demonstrating its capability at delivering radiation sensing payloads, uh, taking uh, video and inspection footage as well. It's also a key part of delivering the NDA strategy and the key uh, grand challenges that they've identified around moving people out of harm's way and using data uh, to help make decisions. Ultimately, it, it should make, with the information that we gather uh, from using something like SPOT, it, it makes us uh, plan the work better so we can uh, do the decommissioning activities uh, more effectively and efficiently as well.